or I can do better by myself. You don't have teamwork skills. You don't work well with others. Bitch, you don't know how to communicate. Ho, you don't know how to operate in a household where everything don't just go your way. That is why you do better by yourself. Things work well when you are by yourself because you don't know how to work well with others. You don't have the right skill sets. You don't, you don't have the skill sets for teamwork. You don't know how to communicate. You don't know how to organize with people. You don't know how to be part of a team. You don't know how to take correction. You don't know how to receive instruction. You don't know how to communicate. You don't know how to receive criticism. Anything coming from somebody else that looks negative to you, that any, you, you react to it instead of processing it and critically thinking about it. That is why you do very poorly. In relationships, it's because you lack skill sets, not because people are evil or there's a curse on your life. In fact, the curse on your life is that you lack skill sets. You have, you lack human relationship skills. You don't know how to relate to people, communicate to people, thrive with people. You cannot be successful if you've not developed your, your people's skills. That's the number one skill set you have to develop. She ain't tell you that if you don't acquire the skills to work well with others, bitch, you won't be able to do better with others. This is why a lot of y'all don't understand the concept that you can be in a group or a team and things should be going better. But if y'all don't know how to organize, if you don't know how to manage emotions, if you don't got boundaries, you will use one another up. You will always feel like a victim if you don't have goals and the right mindset. If you can't take personal accountability for your choices, you will be in a space where it will feel like it's worse with a partner than it is by yourself. Works out well when you're by yourself because you don't know how to work with others. Understanding that human beings are not even built to be alone like that. This is why when you locked up, like I've said so many times, they put you in solitary confinement as a punishment. It shows you that being social and being a part of the group is something positive. That's why if you do bad, they isolate your ass. You don't have team building skills. You don't know how to see things from multiple perspectives. You are self-centered and emotionally driven. You have an issue with setting boundaries and understanding that relationships are about give and take. Rather, you're the one giving too much or taking too much. And this is why it feels comfortable being single, being by yourself. It's, as humans, life is about growth and elevation and building something. The reason why you always like to be alone the reason why you don't like to be in a relationship is because you've not developed the skills to work with other people. If you don't have those skill sets to work with other people, you will never be successful in a relationship. A relationship will feel like punishment to you because you don't have the skill sets to communicate, to connect. To take responsibility for your emotions and for your actions. To take responsibility for the contribution of value and for the contribution of the success of that relationship. The reason why you, you like being alone, you say, I like being on my own, is not a strength, it's a weakness. You know, people who are locked up in prison, when they do something wrong in prison, they put them in solitary conf confinement. Solitary confinement is not a good thing. It's a bad thing. They're alone. It is horrible to be alone. It is punishment to be alone. In Genesis, God said it is not good for man to be alone. And God brought a woman to him. It's not. It's, God said it's not good to be alone. So in prison, to punish prisoners for bad behavior, they put them in solitary confinement where they talk to nobody. It's punishment is not a good thing. So boasting that you like to be alone is not, a, is not a good thing. It's a bad thing. It shows that you have weaknesses in flaws and weaknesses in your character that you need to fix. And you don't have the right skill sets to be able to thrive in a relationship with people. And to be successful, you have to acquire the skill sets to be able to, to work together with people and thrive with people. It's other people who will make you successful, not just yourself. You need the contribution of other people. So you have to develop the skill sets to be able to connect and work with other people. If you don't have those skill sets, your relationships will never work. Your life will never work as it ought to work. Success demands the contribution of other people. 
and to get their contribution in your life, in your goals, in your plan, in your dream, you have to develop high value people skill sets. And that is the number one skill set you need to be successful in your relationship, in your marriage, at your job, in your business, in life. People skill sets. Being alone is not an asset. Or liking or wanting to be alone by yourself is not an asset. It is a weakness. It is not a flex that I like being alone. No, it's a, it's a character flaw. It will ruin you, to destroy you. You can never be successful at your job or in business. You have to develop the skill sets to be able to connect with your partner. That is why you feel irritated. Someone tells you something that you don't like. Instead of listening, you feel irritated and you get angry at like a child. Like a child, you can't listen, you can't take correction, you can't take instruction, you can't take criticism. You just go crazy. Why? There is a weakness, a flaw in your character. To be successful, you have to deal with that weakness. You have to grow up. You have to develop. You have to learn to communicate, to connect, and to thrive with other people. That is the key to success. You'll be fine. You'll be fine.